Good trust. Yes, good man. Good job. That was beautiful, dude. Ah. Here. Oh, squid man. All right. Wait. Go through. Building a sequence with Sasha. April helps Anu and Sasha work on a new sequence. The sequence is scoot to flip, flag and flash over, through and flip to leg over. It's windy. It's not bad. It's windy. Beautiful. Drop it. Yep, and scoot. Scoot. Good. And through. And flip. Good. And over. Good. And drop. Beautiful. Great job. Is it starting to feel a little more? Yeah. Yep. And scoop. <laughs> That's all right. And flag and flash over. Good. And through. And flip. And pick those two discs up. And over. Over. Keep it coming. Yep, and call the drop and send it out that way. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Uh -oh. put on a leaf? Probably. So uh, that was I awesome. I didn't get it to flip though. Huh? You didn't really flip. Oh, I was, I was actually going to mention that, that um, your, uh, your flip toss was a little, was a little more, uh, yeah, it was low, but it was a little more um, mature. It wasn't so pokey okay. and twitchy. Um, the only thing that I think you really need to keep in mind is the wind direction. Right. So when we're building this sequence, this sequence in, partic me? in particular, yeah. Okay. So when we go to set the through weight flip, we want to make sure that we're facing the wind to start. Wait. Okay, so now my back, the wind yep. is to my back. So you're going to face the wind to start. Okay. Here, come on over here. Right here and face the wind. Sasha. Is that true? Wait a minute. I'm facing the wind. Yep. Go out and get it. Go on. Okay, go through. Okay, wait. Turn right here and there. You're going to be downwind. And now, go ahead and make that throw. Yep. Beautiful. Filmed on location at the Pajama Factory in Kingston, New York, it's Positive Vibe with your host, Ron Watson and April Lee. Hey, hey, welcome to Positive Vibe. Ron Watson and April Lee on episode three of Positive Vibe, crossing the threshold. We're going to take a look at the concept of the threshold in some everyday situations. In and out, on and off. Doors, crates, spots, pedestals, all of these behaviors require crossing a threshold. Knowing what a threshold is and what to do when they get there is a great piece of knowledge for your dog to have. If you shape and capture this behavior and reinforce it liberally, you'll create a dog that would rather hang out with you at the door than bolt through it. We are going to shape and capture the threshold behavior using attention and reward placement, no cueing. <laughs> no cueing, seriously, we're gonna shape and capture. We wanna reframe the door from a staging area to a destination. Now the dog won't be lining up to pull a hole shot out the front of the door, the dog will be lining up to give you eye contact. It's a powerful skill. It is. All right, let's get started. All right. Attention to the threshold, the tops. Approach the threshold, attention. Cross the threshold, attention. Thresholds become important. So here we are, getting ready to work the door. Hops is going to make every bit of this happen. His eye contact is going to make yes. my hand touch the door, yes. the door open, cookies happen, yes. and it will eventually lead him outside. 
Again, the idea here is to get lots of value on this side of the door. If he goes out, that's fine. I'll wait for him to come back in or manufacture the release by backing away from the door. Once I think I've got enough cookies on him, I'll take the last piece of eye contact and ask him out the door, marking the moment he crosses the threshold. The dog will reorient to me, and I will start giving him more cookies. We're going to place just as much value on this side of the door so that the dog wants to get through the door in order to work with us. This will change the doorway from a staging area to a destination. Common thresholds with loot. Crates, rooms, stairwells, and hallways all have thresholds. Add value to both sides of a threshold and your dog slows down and has to think. I'm going to work threshold with loot in a crate. Loot is going to use eye contact to make things happen. Eye contact will make the door open. Eye contact will make many cookies happen. And eye contact will even make the leash click onto his collar. If he lies down, that's awesome. I probably should have jackpotted this. We want the dog nice and comfortable in the kennel before we ask them out. We want to add value to both sides of the threshold. You can see he comes out. I mark the moment he crosses the threshold and then I start to work eye contact. A little bit of positioning there. That's mainly for the cameras. And we go right back to eye contact. The idea here is that the doorway ceases to be a staging area for outside and it starts to be <laughs> Laverne. So funny. And it starts to be a destination in and of itself. The dog is going to work to get cookies on both sides of the door. Both sides of the door are going to have equal value. And you can see that I've moved to the door outside. There are many of these thresholds within your house. From the kitchen to the living room, down a hallway, in the dog room. Use them. Slow your dog down. Here I'm going to put loot away. Give him a break and we'll try that again. Setting the tone with Harry. Ron helps Leanne and Harry set the tone for good work when coming out of the car. Repetition and reward placement are keys to this session. Good job. Yes. When he reorients, yes. And go ahead and put him back in the car. All right. Get in the car. Awesome. Uh, did you ask him out of the car? I just said yes. Um, you want to make sure that you ask him out of the car? <laughs> right, so it'll be um, yes. Harry, and as he's crossing the threshold, mark yes. Oh, okay. Okay. No. With what? Retreat. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You're gonna mark and then reinforce with a cookie. Okay. Yep, yep. Um, I think uh, when you let them out and they bust out, wahoo! Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what goes down. Mm -hmm. um, if we can ask him out and um, make sure we mark and reinforce the moment he crosses the threshold, okay. mark it put your cookie down so that he's got something to come back to and that should really help him get hooked up uh, with you coming out. Give it a shot. Okay, here you go. Um, put him back in. Very good in the car. When you ask him out, and it's going to be easy for me, 
Um, I would I would want like five or ten cookies in there, and I don't have any. What you know mean? what? You can yell at me because I don't have any cookies. Oh, finally. Right? <laughs> well, here I just have kibble. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> way to way to save the day. Yeah, okay. So um, take your take your eye contact. Yes. Right. Yes. Eye contact. Um, I don't know how many cookies you paid him inside earlier, mm -hmm. but. Uh, Yes, we want to try and get like a load of cookies in here. Especially mm -hmm. like if he came out, yes. If he came out and didn't do a terrific job, yes. I would, I would put him back in and make sure that I get a lot of cookies right here. Mm -hmm. And yes, once I get a lot of cookies here and he's into eating cookies, yes. Harry, yes. He's gonna come out expecting the cookie here. Yeah, well, it's me too, in and in. In and in. Yes, good man. So I'd like you to give that a shot, okay? okay? And um, let's say uh, eight or ten cookies in there, Inside. right? The yep. And then you're gonna ask him out, and um, don't let him release. Uh -huh. Don't let him pressure his way out. Uh -huh. Oh, ever. Okay. Ever. Um, so, you know, get him nice and stable, lots of cookies inside. Ask him out as he crosses the threshold of the door. Mm -hmm. Mark yes. Uh -huh. And get your cookie down quickly. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to go over here. I'm going to get far enough away so we can give you another shot on that. Having a new puppy is an especially fun and wonderful time. We want them to grow up safe and healthy and expose them to activities that can help them become great athletes when they grow up. Low impact, short duration exercises focused on core stability and strong stable stopping and turning power may be the most ideal activities for growing dogs. When we work on balance and stability, we help the developing mind better understand the body and how it works and moves, giving the adult dog more control over their body. This can be fun, very stimulating to the growing puppy, and can help provide safe challenges without environmental stressors or dangers. Yes, that a girl, Lois. Watch Lois Lane grow up in our upcoming DVD and learn how to make exercise fun and safe for growing dogs using FitPaw's canine conditioning equipment. All right, it's time for a little bit of P-Vibe Thanksgiving. We'd like to thank all the people that have supported our show. We have three people that we'd like to thank today, adding to the list. Who yeah. do we have first? So today uh, we'd like to first thank uh, Toby Erickson out of Washington. Yep, uh, runs the Washington owners of Flying Disc Dogs, I believe. Super yeah. cool, super cool lady. Yep, awesome couple of dogs. Uh, nice uh, tripod dog. Yep. Yeah. Uh, tripod photography, I believe, is her... Yep, her, her website, website as, as well. well. Yep, and then we'd like to give a shout out to uh, Bob Niemeyer, New yep. Mexico. Awesome. Yeah. Bob, thanks so much for all of your support over the years. It's been really awesome working with you. And and you won't find a more passionate guy out there. No, for sure. Yep. And then our third person we'd like to uh, thank is uh, Lindsay Emery. Yep, Lindsay used to hang out with us in Michigan. and Moved she now, out here to the East Coast. Yep, she lives in Massachusetts, and she has Mr. Hippo now. Uh, career change... Service, service, dog. service dog, yep, and they are uh, therapy dog certified. Fabulous. Woo -hoo. Yeah. Go, Mr. Hippo. All right. All right, and hey, guys, thanks again for your support. Uh, this wouldn't be going on without you. Really, really appreciate it, and we'll get back to the show. All right. Let's awesome. do it. Disc Management Jam with Kiva. April Lee and Kiva get their disc management together in this rotten weather jam. Go to dog stuff. Good man, Aus. Yes. Yes, good man, Aus. Yes. Yes. Yes, good man, Aus. Yes. Good. Yeah. Top. Yes, go. 
Get it, buddy. Oh. Get around, yes. Yes, good man. I'll scoot. Yes. Yes, I'll. Yes, wait. Rebound. Yes, good. Top. Yes, good. Dog catch. Yeah, good man. Just there. Yes. Good man. House round. Squib. Around. Yeah. Squib. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, stop. Yes, good man. Go. Yes, good man. House. Yes. Yes, good man. Ow. Oh boy. Through. Wait. Rebound. Yes, good. Okay. Yeah. Good man. Awesome, dude. Star in the car, third time's a charm. Leanne and Harry dial it in. Reward and repetition pay off. Yes. Yes. Stay. Yes. Repeating entries to new environments reduces the classically conditioned state. We're going to zip through this in four times speed as we repeat the entry into the challenging environment. Repeating an entry at the threshold is a huge, huge deal. It allows us to replicate the entry at a lower intensity level. We'll see the time that it takes the dog to recover from the excited state as well as the intensity of the excited state drop. And we'll start to get more good reps. More good reps versus less bad reps is a good thing, right? I know, it's crazy. So I'll go as far as taking him in and out. And when I bring him in, I'll even take him off lead and repeat. And don't forget you can dose him with classical conditioning if you need to. Oh, dismissal's pretty cool, too. Goody dog stuff. Generalizing threshold. Free shape three different thresholds. Here's an example. In and out of the hoop. Figure out two more on your own. Be creative. Yes, good girl. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Yes, excellent. Yes. Juice. Yes, good. Kiva. Yes, good man. PN, good girl. Adding a few dogs certainly makes things more interesting, but we're still just focused on the hoop. 
crossing the hoop, being inside the hoop, or acknowledging the hoop in some way, shape, or form. We're really just exploring this threshold behavior and uh, having a good time. We'll have some serious work from this session later on this week in our Try This follow-up segment. Harp. Juice. Ska. Good girl, Scratty. Good. A dose of classical conditioning. If your dog is really high or you want your dog to do nothing but look at you when they come out of their crate, just mark the threshold and give a bunch of cookies. Lute was a little crazy getting out of his crate last time, so I'm going to take preemptive measures and I'm going to dose him with classical conditioning. I'm going to do the threshold as normal, and then when I get him out, I'm going to stuff him full of cookies. Eye contact to make cookies happen. Eye contact makes out happen. Mark and the dog will reorient to the handler. Just start stuffing him full of cookies. Once I'm done stuffing him full of cookies, you'll see him stop and look at me. That's what we're talking about. Now he's ready to work. I think the coolest thing about the threshold concept is that you can make one happen just about anywhere. Here we are walking up to a gap between an X pen and the wall. I stop, do a little eye contact, ask him through. It looks like a threshold, kind of looks like a door. Sure thing, I'll do it. These thresholds, if we manufacture them throughout our homes, we're able to get our dogs to stop and look at us very frequently. And they do that as a default. Yes. The more thresholds they see, the more opportunities we have to shape and capture their behavior. I'm going to go ahead and make this actually look like a door and go through the door protocol yes. as we did earlier with Hobbs. You can see the immediate reorientation when I mark him crossing that threshold. And watch how he hooks up with me as we leave for the front door. He's totally, totally into this spot. He's not looking to go outside at all. He's looking to work with me. It's awesome.